the most important thing you need to know is that the fear you are feeling right now is your power. The fear, the emotions that are coming up, these are your darker aspects of yourself that you have denied your whole life and perhaps lifetimes of the past. These darker emotions that we tend to shy away from and suppress are what really ignite us, are what really embolden us to become who we really are. The darker emotions, the fear, the panic, the anxiety, the worry, when we allow these to really burn through us, when we open to these feelings, when we embrace them, we become more of our essence, more of our truth. You'll feel these emotions burn through you and what you'll feel what, what's happening is they're deepening your, ba your being. You're becoming more and more spacious. Every layer that is purged, every layer of fear that comes up, that you allow to come up, that you feel, that you heal, gives you that much more freedom to act from your authenticity. The reason you have so much fear coming up, the reason the Kundalini energy has begun confronting you with so much fear and, and filling your, what it feels like filling your body with so much fear is because you're, for your whole life, you've clung to the light aspects of you and you've been afraid of those darker aspects. In life, everything is energy. We are energy. And energy consists of light and the dark, the yin and the yang. You need both. You can't just, when you become overly needful or overly consumed by needing the light energy, the darkness begins to be suppressed. You begin trying to escape the negative feelings, the heavier feelings. But these feelings are part of you. These are aspects of you that need to be integrated. And possibly before your awakening, you are able to escape these, these darker aspects through distractions of, of various sorts, various dramas you might have created in your life to escape what you were really feeling, to escape the darker and more powerful aspects of yourself. But once the Kundalini comes into your life, as you're experiencing right now, there's no more escaping yourself. You're now being confronted with all that you are. And all that you are is darkness as well. And not labeling the fear and the anxiety, maybe the anger, not labeling these things or dark energy as bad and trying to just get rid of them, but seeing them for what they really are. Aspects of you that are here to help you know your wholeness. And these aspects of you these darker aspects of you, when you allow them to come up and fully arise without any resistance, when you truly allow them to penetrate your being, when you allow your being to be completely and fully immersed in these feelings, not only will they deepen your being, not only will you feel lighter and more vibrant, not only will you come into a much more of a balanced state of being, but you will become a fearless, real, authentic, and honest version of yourself. 
because when we face our inner demons, nothing out here can ever scare us again. And when we think we're scared of something out here, it's only a reflection of what we're afraid to face inside of us. So this is actually a gift that the Kundalini has brought into your life. It's a gift that you're no longer, that it's no longer possible for you to escape those deep, deep, dark emotions that you've tried to escape your whole life. Because in facing them, you are truly allowing yourself the freedom to be who you want to be. The reason that a lot of us don't feel free is because we are run by our inner fears, because we are afraid to face them. Because we think, our ego thinks that if we were to let them up, to be felt and seen, that we would be completely obliterated. And in a certain sense, in a positive aspect, positive sense, that's a good thing. Sometimes this fear and these darker emotions are here to obliterate aspects of your ego that are limiting, that are keeping you constrained into thinking you have to act and to be a certain way. When in fact you allow the darker aspects up, and not just allow them as in a, oh my gosh, I guess I'll do it, but embrace them when you turn towards them and you open towards them and you ask them, what do I, what is it that you want to teach me? Because in this fear, so much of your inner wisdom and your inner knowing is contained. So that when you can allow this fear to come up into you, into your being, into your heart center, into your third eye, into your crown chakra, it's gonna wash through and leave all the wisdom that you've been denying yourself your entire life. Because when we suppress our fears, when we suppress our, our our darker emotions, we deny ourselves so much of our own wisdom and our own knowing and our own power to step into who we are and what we know to be true. So when we let that fear really just wash through us, it transforms us. I can tell you, I wouldn't be here shooting this YouTube video right now if I hadn't have went through some of the insane fear episodes, purges that I went through. For the first four to five months of my Kundalini awakening, I felt fear, palpable amounts of fear every single day. Some days the fear was so, it was such a tremendous amount of fear that I felt just coming up. I could barely even function. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I would have to, I would be working and I'd have to go outside and just start crying because I, I didn't understand how, how is there so much fear coming up in me? But now that I look back on it, I see that I was purging lifetimes of fear, perhaps family lineages worth of fear. And now I, I have so much, just so much more of a balanced and centered, and fearless perspective of the world. I truly don't care anymore. I used to be afraid of people. I used to be afraid of certain situations. I mean, I had so many fears that I would conjure up in the stories of my mind. And those fears have just melted away. And it's because I faced my fears every single day. Um, and I still am, and it's a continual process. When you, you, you start purging fears, you start purging things, you start moving on to deeper and deeper aspects of yourself. But if you're going through these intense, just crazy bouts of tremendous amounts of fear energy that just feels like your whole being is just immersed in it, be thankful and open to this energy and allow it. Do not resist it at all. To resist it, you're just gonna have to, you're just recycling it for it to come back up. And 
also what you're doing is when you're keeping that fear energy in your body, it's always gonna reflect back out to you in your external reality. So if you're not gonna face it, if you're not gonna go within and face it, life is going to force, put it right in front of your face in the external reality. And that's a good thing too. At a certain point, you'll start looking for the metaphor in everything that's happening. You'll see that life is orchestrating events in a perfect way so that you are forced to face all of your fears. And that's when it becomes more of a healing process is when you're more of a conduit for this process, when you're more of a volunteer, when you're more open to the process. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that you found something helpful in this. I just want to let you to know I've been there. I've been through months and months of it. Sometimes I still will have a bout of intense fear, not nearly as much. It gets so much easier. But I just want you to know, don't turn away from it. It has so much to offer you. If you'll just have the courage to shine your light of presence on it and to just be with it. You don't need to do anything more than that. You don't need to take anything, find a new diet. All the, I tried all the external stuff too. All you need to do is just allow it to be and sit there present with it. And the last thing I'll say, I know when you're going through these fear episodes that it can conjure up a crazy thought storm of obsessive, negative, dark thoughts. I've been there too. And the thing you need to realize is when that's happening, allow the thought storm, but don't identify with the thought storm. You're not all those crazy, dark, obsessive thoughts coming up. All that's happening is you're, all that energy's purging out of you and all those thoughts are coming up to be purged out as well. And that's really a really good thing because over time, when you just become the space that it's all happening in and you observe it all without labeling the energy good or bad, the mind momentum, the obsessive thoughts begin to lose their fuel. The darker energies that you've suppressed your whole life begin to integrate back into balance and you begin to really center in who you are. And everything just gets so much easier. But I know it's hard at first. Sometimes, every day for many months, I would have to lay on the bed and just open up fully and close my eyes and just allow the energy to move and just feel it purging out of me, feel it releasing from my being. And no, it's not gonna happen overnight. If you stop resisting in this moment, you will instantly feel better, instantly. But there's gonna be layers, there's gonna come up in layers. So don't think you've went backwards if you purge an intense layer and then a couple days later, it seems to come back with more intensity. That's actually a good sign. That's actually a sign that the release is starting to happen with more acceleration. It's kind of like if you're driving a car 100 miles an hour and you let off the throttle, you're not instantly gonna go, you, you know, go right to zero. It's gonna take a while for the car to, to slow down. It's gonna be a gradual process. And that's how this release and reintegration is gonna work for you too. It's going to be a gradual process. It's going to happen layer by layer. But it's going to feel extremely cathartic. It's going to feel very healing. Uh, you will know you will know it in your heart. The moment you start stop resisting the fear, you will feel the benefit. You will feel the depth of this fear and what it brings up into you. And it's just a beautiful process. While you're going through it, it's, it can be ugly, it can be violent, it can feel overwhelming completely, but just remember, anything that you allow can never be overwhelming. It is only the things that resist that can feel overwhelming. 
So with that, I'm gonna get back to enjoying the beach. It's uh, my first time on the Oregon coast. It's beautiful here. Um, but I just want to send you guys a lot of love and say thank you for all the likes and for subscribing um, and the comments. And I'll put my uh, blog below too. I write about this. I just wrote a recent post called Follow Your Feelings. So if you're going through something like this, something traumatic with the Kundalini, that post could uh, probably offer you a lot of insight on how to go about doing what I just tried to describe to you. But other than that, I hope you guys um, Embrace everything that's happening to you and know that it's happening for a reason, a very, very good reason. Namaste.